Hello. So we're going to talk about how to multiply, divide rational expressions. Okay. This lesson lesson is on Monday and Tuesday, uh, March 18, 19. Okay. So first we're going to take a look. If you are having the expression like this and they ask you to simplify, that means they ask you to um, look on the numerator and denominator and see what's the same so you can cancel out. Okay, so here you have x minus 7 and x minus 7 is the same on top and bottom. So therefore, we're going to cancel them out. They're just going to create 1 um, and whatever left over, we're going to copy as our answer. x plus 2. So 1 over x plus 2. Okay, the second one we have is, for example, you have like this, x plus 3 over x minus 2 times x minus 5 over x plus 3 so as you can see on the top and the bottom we have they both have x plus 3 so we can go ahead and divide them out and the only thing left is x minus 5 over x minus 2 okay so that's how you do the multiplication next we have some problem with division which is the, the divide sign in the middle so in that case, we need to use a KFC method, okay? KFC is short for keep, flip, and change, okay? So K stands for keep. That means the first one you're going to keep is the same, which is X plus 3 over X minus 2. You're going to keep them exactly the same. Then you're going to flip the second fraction. So that means you reciprocal them. And then you change the sign from division into multiplication. So change them into multiply. Let's flip the second one. X minus 2 over X minus 5. Okay. Now that you have them flip already and change the sign to time, you can go ahead and do just like how we did up here. Let's look on the top and bottom and see what's the same. So I see right here I have X minus 2 and X minus 2 is the same. So here, I'm going to cross it out. Whatever left over will be our answer. On top, I have x minus x plus 3. On the bottom, I have x minus 5. Okay, so this is how you divide rational expressions or divide fraction. We use KFC. Keep the first fraction, flip the second fraction, and then change the sign into times. Okay? And then we simplify them. So this is the answer that we get. So now we're going to take a look at some practice problems. First, uh, this one have x squared minus 4x minus 5 over x squared minus 25. Divide by x squared plus 4x plus 4 over x squared plus 7x plus 10. Okay, so to do this, we already see this one is the division. So therefore, we're going to use KFC. K F C. Keep the first one, flip the second one, and change the sign. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do that. x squared minus 4x minus 5 stay the same. x squared minus 25 stay the same. We're going to change the sign into times, which is multiply. multiply. Okay? And then we're going to flip this uh, uh, fraction right here. The top become the bottom, and the bottom become top. x squared plus 7x plus 10. Okay, so now we're going to use our skill in factoring in order to find out what we can cancel. The top part, we have 5. <clears throat> we need two numbers that multiply to give you 5, but uh, have a difference of 4. So those two numbers is negative 5 and positive 1. Okay, so I'm going to have x minus 5 over x plus 1 coming from here. In the bottom, you can rewrite them as x times x and 5 times 5. So we're going to have the factor is x minus 5 times x plus 5. Similarly, we're going to go ahead and factor out the second side also. 10 is 2 times 5, 1 times 10, but 2 times 5 gives you 7, so I'm going to use positive 2 and positive 5 x plus 2 x plus 5 
Similarly, in the bottom, we have 2 times 2 give you 4, and 2 plus 2 give you 4 also. So those two uh, factors will be x plus 2 times x plus 2. Now let's take a look and look on the top and the bottom and see what we can cancel out. Okay, so here we have x minus 5, x minus 5, out. What else we have? x plus 2, x plus 2, also out. x plus 5, divided by x plus 5, that's 1. Now whatever left over is going to be our answer. Okay, here we have x plus 1 on top. And then the bottom we have x plus 2. Okay, so now that we have our answer correctly, we're going to go back to the answer choices right here. So turn out our answer is x plus 1 over x plus 2. The answer is C. Okay, and this is how you do it by hand. You just factor out, cancel what's repeat, and record what's left over. Okay, so there's another way that you can do this type of problem if you have absolutely no idea how to factor or you're struggling then all you can do is you grab them so you put the original into the graph and then press tab so you can open another window and then you're looking at the answer choices whoever have the same graph as your original is going to be our answer okay so grab this tab put each of the answer choices in and then see whatever have the same graph okay for more information, I have uh, tutoring every day after school from 4.20 to 5.20. So, see you there. Bye.